Technology is using robots more and more. They're prevalent throughout society. And, uh, and some of the concepts that we use to govern the control of robots um, are very simple. For example, uh, take this robotic welder. Now, the robotic welder has to be able to lift its arms, move, and zero in on a certain point. How does a robot know that? Well, this robotic motor uses, um, uses a device known as a linear variable differential transformer. So let's talk about how that works. The linear variable differential transformer works off of the transformer effect. And so what you have is you've got a core here, and it's a movable core. Uh, this core slides, or maybe something inside the core slides in and out. And the piece in there, that core, is uh, ferromagnetic. So it uh, helps the magnetic field of a fluctuating current. It, it passes it through better. Now I've got a primary coil. Drive, with it, drive it with an AC current. And it's wrapped around the core in the center right here. This primary core with a coil with, a, with an AC current, it produces a fluctuating magnetic field. So as the electrons slosh back and forth, the magnetic field sloshes back and forth. I've got two secondary coils right here, here and here. And that sloshing magnetic field causes the electrons in these secondary coils to slosh back and forth. That's how you transfer power in a transformer. Now, as it is right here, both of these coils, these secondary coils, are getting the same amount of sloshing. The current's going to be the same, and the voltage difference that comes out you know, winds up being a DC current. The voltage current, the voltage that comes out, is exactly the same on both sides. But what happens if the core moves? If I slide the core this way, there's going to be less of the secondary coil with a core around it. And so it's not going to receive the sloshing. It's not going to convert it to current as well. You need that core, that ferromagnetic core. So the more I slide this core this way, there's less core inside here and it doesn't transfer the current as well. I'm going to read a smaller voltage on the output on this side than on this side. If I slide the core this way, now I'm getting a smaller, a smaller current. I'm receiving less of that magnetic flux and converting it into current uh, than on the other side. And so it's going to have a lower voltage on this side. So I can, I can move this core very small amounts and receive a very noticeable change in voltage. Not just telling me how much I move, but which direction I move, whether it's positive or negative. So lots of, uh, lots of robots in factories and things that need to pick something up, move it over, put a rivet in or weld it, they need to have exact position. They'll use a linear variable differential transformer. Um, linear means it moves in one line. Variable means that it can change direction and it can move. Differential transformer means I've got a transformer and I'm looking at the differential voltage output of the two secondary coils. LVDT, linear variable differential transformer.